hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the arabian portrait editing so this picture and i got this picture from pixels.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description so at first i'll do the skin retouch just if i zoom it in here in a skin you are getting the best light but uh, the skin is not smooth that is the rough type skin so how to smooth that i'll show you that and after that i'll add the shadow and highlighting options and then i'll make a preset which is for you guys and i'll show you the process of the making preset and uh, how to apply this one and after that i'll add another effects which is for the final touch of the photo so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and the photo toolbox and skin finer in this image you are getting the texture in the face but in this picture you are not getting that that is totally smooth so if you make it more smooth increase the amount of smoothness and the fine little bit yeah after that the thing is adjust the light and other stuffs that is the skin tone options and here is the hue what will be the skin color i'll make it red type yeah that's good and then the saturation if you make it more like not good but i'll make it adjust like this that's fine and from here the brightness i'll decrease the brightness a little bit yeah and here contrast i'll give contrast for this and highlight i'll decrease the highlight and here is the brightness i'll decrease the brightness as well and the saturation as well yeah that's fine and the shadow i'll increase the shadow it will be more focusive and like that so here that's fine yeah before one and after one you are getting so hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the output so let's wait for that yeah that's done almost okay let's see the before one and after one yeah and now time for adding shadow and highlighting for that i'm giving the name m m for main and make two copy of this layer s for shadow and h for highlighting so I'll turn off the shadow option at first the highlight option I'll select I'll make it zoom it will help you out to give the shadow other steps so make the blending mode to screen right press this one go to the blending options and here is the underlining options so you have to slide this slider and find out the highlighted area of the face here yeah, those are the highlighted area of the face press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face yeah that's fine that's good yeah that's nice and hit the ok button and then mask this one and after masking this go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button so our highlight portion is done yeah highlighted options we got the highlight of the face and now the shadow options go to the blending mode again and make it multiply right press and blending options from here we will work with the underlining layer again and here is the slider we will find out the shadow of the face and then divide the slider by pressing alter button and click here and adjust the shadow of the face and after that hit ok and mask it after masking this one go to the image and the apply image but in this case you have to make it invert and hit ok so we got two things or two layers shadow and highlight i'll select these two layers make it group and then mask it again and after masking go to the image and apply image but in this case just uncheck the invert option and hit ok so let's see the before one so before one was like that and after one you are getting so before one and after one so you're getting this one the shiny effects of the face so select these two things and make it group and make it merge now i'll go to the camera filter and then i'll adjust all the things of the face 
So camera filter, you know that this one is a plugins of Photoshop Creative Cloud by default, but you have to install it manually if you are the user of the CS version. So from here, I'll de highlight this one a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And add some shadow. Yeah, that's fine. And from here, variance, I'll make it down. Yeah, from the exposure i'll add some exposure and here is the temperature and tint i'll make it tint and temperature temperature plus 4 and tint minus 12 yeah that's fine and then camera calibration primary red blue and green so from blue i'll make the blue color like this and make the hue of the red primary red i'll make it like that and the green color I'll make the green color like that from the HSL panel I'll increase the saturation of red and decrease the luminance of red yeah red are prominent enough all the red color so that's good and from the hue options I'll make it like this this type of hue yeah that's fine and from here the saturation of orange I'll increase and this one I'll decrease the luminance of the face that means the orange color and yellow as well so i'll increase the yellow a little bit luminance yeah that will be more prominent and now go to the sharpening or detail options and add some sharpening amount sharpening 36 percent and luminance i'll make the luminance like that and from the fx option i'll add some vignette like that yeah that's fine and from the panel that is the tone curve and blue tone curve i'll make the blue tone curve like this and just lock it up and make this one like this type of look yeah that's fine and then the green as well yeah and then the red color i'll make the red color like that so that's good and from the temperature i'll make the temperature like this and the shadow as well give the shadow like this and the white i'll give the white a little bit up and the saturation i'll make make it a little bit down the variance actually the saturation as well and the light will be like that and from the camera calibration i'll work with this like this one is a perfect color decrease the green saturation and decrease the red saturation as well so that's good and select here the preset options save the settings i'll save the settings for you guys and i'll give you that settings giving the name arabian portrait and hit the ok so it will take time to load it up and give you the output so let's see the before one to one yeah the before one and after one and after that just go to the color lookup options and from here choose the futuristic color and from here i'll make it down a little bit yeah that's good and then go to the adjustment layer again and go to the exposure from here i'll give the exposure grammar correction 0.91 that's fine and the offset 1 to 5 yeah that's fine uh, 0 to 5 actually that's good and the exposure i'll make it like this yeah and select these all the things make it group and make it march yeah it's taking time and after that go to the adjustment layer again and the gradient options and select the gradient this one and adjust the gradient like this that's good and make it radial the style is radial and the angle will be zero degree and make it reverse and choose here and make it dither and the scale will be like yeah 352 around 352 so hit the ok button select these two things make it group again and make it march 
and after merging this one we'll go to the filter and the nick collection the color effects pro 4 from here i will apply another color effects and i'll add the like filters like uh, the cross processing filters or other stuffs so here are lots of filters like um, the cross balance cross processing but i'll use the cross processing and here is lots of method and i'll apply one of them i think this one is great this one is also good so here is the strength option if you need you can just add the strength from here and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the output it's almost done so saving this image yeah that's done and then decrease the fill color that means fill a little bit down so let's see just group it and make it merge and let's see the before one and after one so let's see the phase as well the before one and after one so you are getting the arabian effects and that is the fantasy type effects you are getting so i think you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell again for the new notifications i'm giving regularly video tutorial for you guys and if you need the all the pieces and other stuffs please check out my video description and until the next video i may see my signing out today bye bye